in honor of this year's Met Gala. I wanted to get into the looks that I have been seeing recently. I find it fascinating. I like to see what other people and designers are pulling together to collaborate on this Met Gala. Coming from someone who again is an outsider, has no educational background or any type of career background in fashion. A lot of people have such unique looks. Who has been the most creative this year? Again, granted, look, look at what I'm wearing. Take what I say with a grain of salt. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyways, again, I should say that this year's theme is and I've been watching it live. I didn't even get to read the description. I kind of wanted to go in blind. I will reference anything I have mentioned down below. With that out of the way, let's get to the looks. So this was updated two minutes ago as I am looking at it right now. At the top of the list, there is Kendall Jenner. She is wearing a 1999 archival gown from Givenchy dress that has never been worn before. It's kind of like what I was envisioning. Hers gives me, again, this is like the first thing I'm really witnessing but hers does have like that darkness reawakening feeling of almost like coming from the ground up of like a very dark sultry outfit it looks like it's embossed I like seeing archival pieces and gowns and I hear someone who's very uneducated about things but I do find that seeing something from the late 90s as this being an example is just really pretty to see this year in current time and to think back that that wasn't even that long ago but I can't apparently it's considered almost vintage now or no it is it's now considered vintage which is crazy to me next on the list is jeff bezos and lauren sanchez and he is wearing a classic tuxedo black suit and she's wearing oh that's cool i didn't even notice that it's this heart-shaped gown that tapers out into like almost like a classic ball gown silhouette but then it's mirrored roses that go down the whole the whole skirt of the gown at first i thought it was just black and white but it's like silver detailing the mirror pieces that they like intricately put together it seems like san it says sanchez had a custom floral gown she had a custom oscar de la renta floral gown it's considered shattered glass this inspired skirt so that's really cool I think with it being the the shattered mirror almost like breaking through years of fashion and how it's been elevated and you're trying to almost like rewrite or reawaken breaking the glass like breaking through it kind of it makes kind of sense to have that as the sears theme to have that wear that on the carpet so that's really interesting i think with the shattered glass or so the glass and in intricate pieces that really brings it together if it was just black and white i don't think i would have liked it as much next on the list is kylie jenner she in a princess in pale pink okay now i can see kylie jenner's full dress because i only saw a partial piece of it in a photo it looks like kylie jenner is wearing a custom oscar de la renta including pointed breast silhouette so it looks like kylie's kind of running out giving madonna it looks like there is a similarity from the 80s very classic look i don't think it stands out too much but maybe you kind of have to go back in time to almost bring back what fashion was so maybe that's the vision was i could see that definitely i don't know i like the more out, out there looks i think those almost are ingrained in everyone's brain a lot more or ingrained in their minds a lot more when it's more memorable and it's just more out there this just seems like it would just play it safe but i also think it's such a classic look and again that just might be what their definition was the team and kylie so that was really interesting again i know it's a collaboration with the brand and the designer or the designers so it's a choice next is Lil Nas X sporting some bleach blonde hair which I think looks really striking it looks really good i like the blonde hair it looks really cool and very detailed the nails look really cool i like how it has like little pearl detailing it's like a monochromatic look i don't i think because i'm reading this as it's being written out there's not a lot of detail on some of these people's outfits it's not saying what Lil Nas X is wearing specifically but i can only see from the waist up but it looks like a very interesting silver yet almost like a pale yellow yellow monochromatic outfit very elevated suit-esque but it could go out into like a ball gown at the bottom i can't tell it kind of almost looks like that it has like really cool waistband and it has some like some lace detail with also some sequin either way i really like it it kind of really does match with even like the 
the nails and the bleached hair. It looks like Ariana Grande is going with a similar color scheme. It's more of an off-white ivory, but it looks really cool. It's like a gives me a, like a pearl effect with like the, the top strapless top gown. She's wearing a, Grande's wearing a strapless, I am so sorry if I butchered these names, low way gown and it's a pleated mother of pearl bodice which i thought yeah it's, it gives like a pearl-esque essence with that goes through the whole thing cynthia erivo doesn't doesn't say what cynthia erivo is wearing but it's a two-piece a two-piece floral themed almost garden-esque suit that's black and pink it seems like it's with a suit jacket and a skirt to match but it looks really cool it's like these like little rose petals falling down the whole outfit and it looks like there's like some sequin and some like red detailing at the little rose petals. They almost look real, they probably are, but it looks really cool. I'm just like zooming in on. Oh wow, oh it's the ladybugs. It has like, that's such a cool outfit. I like the makeup too. I like it, the makeup like almost looks like a spider. It's very dramatic eyes. It does look like it, you're just in like a secret garden or something, that's really cool. The next one is Demi Lovato that I'm seeing. Demi Lovato is wearing a strapless gown that also has like a very shimmery like mirror look to it with a lot of detailing on it in proper gurung. I'm so sorry if I just butchered that. I, I apologize. I do like it though. It's very, it's very shimmery and does have like a train that just like elongates throughout the whole gown at the end. It really is a statement. It really gives Demi like a really cool shape to the whole gown. It has like a very angled point in some of the parts and it just looks really cool. Again, I'm going to put some reference photos up on the screen. Following Demi Lovato's is Rita Ora's. I don't, it's not saying what Rita's wearing. It's reference to take into consideration the timeless beauty that again people has put in the quote that Rita did mention and take into consideration of the fashion and the theme and also look back at the first and second century of BC. Uh, Rita also mentioned that the team, that Rita's team looked into individual pieces of the beads specifically to go into the look and it's very very interesting. It's almost gives me like a waterfall effect. Definitely one of the more out there ones so far. Adrian Brody, his part has a really cool dress. It looks like an actual flower or even like a butterfly. It's very interesting, which again, I'm gonna put on the screen, but I like the dress Georgina Chapman's wearing, which is Adrian Brody's partner. Very interesting. I don't know, the, not me over here trying to figure out how to pronounce certain things. Georgina is a Marquesa designer. They're not giving a lot of detail on that. I do like that dress. That's a really cool dress. Next is Jack Harlow. He is is in a light gray suit looks very classic put together but it's it's okay i mean i think it looks good but it's a very classic look like it's not bad it's definitely not bad but it's not i don't see how that's part of the theme i just think it looks like a classic suit i also don't think i did mention but jack harlow's was by dior so i will put that in there but yeah jack harlow's was dior same with jeff bezos his suit it's just a classic but i also think he paired with his wife who really stood out compared to that but i feel like there's a lot of people who kind of, coming from someone who literally doesn't know what I'm talking about, but it just seems like there's people that do play it safe and they go with a classic look, regardless of the theme that I've observed over the years. Again, I might not know what I'm talking about. It just seems like that's just like playing it safe. I don't know. It's not my favorite. It doesn't look bad. It looks great. It just, I don't see it part of the theme. I can't say like, oh, it's boring. Like, look at what I'm wearing. Again, I'm not on the carpet. My outfit would be boring. Next is Serena. Williams and Michelle Yeoh. They look like they're pairing almost together with their, their gowns. Serena's wearing a very gold elongated gown and Michelle is wearing silver. It's almost like they're pairing together with the silver and the gold. Very complimentary like people have put in the in their caption for the looks. Me and Michelle are wearing the same type of bob almost. I like hers how it has like the almost like a little bit off to the side. Serena's wearing almost mid-arm gloves. So that's really cool. Next is Demi Moore's dress. Demi Moore is wearing from the designer Harris Reed. That looks like it takes up a lot of space. Wow. It gives me kind Kind of like a again like an opening of a flower or like a peacock or very dramatic entrance i like the silhouette though like i 
like how it kind of like tapers in and then goes back out. I think those are like a cl the classic color of like black and pink, like that you can't go wrong with those color schemes. It probably is like a reference of an actual flower, so I might just be being dumb there. And these are probably gonna be out of order by the time I like mention all of these, but I am now seeing Zendaya's. We had two looks for this year. I know that's a thing. A lot of people will come and come to the carpet and they, there's like three different looks to them or I think there was one year where Lady Gaga had four different looks. I think I like Zendaya's the most so far. I like how they did her eyebrows. I know it's not an usual look. And I think that's why I like it so much. Not her comfort zone, but out of the box of what you would normally picture when you see Zendaya in looks for especially like a red carpet. Like this is very interesting. It makes her eyes really pop and like with the dark lipstick, it's very interesting. I like that. I really like hers. It's like a deep green and it has like off the shoulder. Almost like looks like grapes, like just falling off of her. Like literal grapes. But that looks really cool. Hers, I think Zendaya's might be my favorite so far, for sure. Then we have, again, Kim Kardashian. Kim is wearing Mason Margiela couture gown. It's like also, it, I see like a, this has been a theme so far that I've been noticing, but it's like a metal-esque gown metal-like bodice and it's it goes sheer almost like it has like a bodysuit to it and then by the hips it just goes sheer down the leg and it has like off the shoulder almost like a almost like a shrug either that or it's like a sweater that she has like attached i don't know for some reason i do like this one i'm not mad at it she brought back the the platinum blonde too i could see it i could definitely see that i don't know after seeing zendaya's it's really hard to compete with that obviously so next person again i think zendaya is still at the top of the list of an unforgettable look tonight and it looks like Naomi Campbell is wearing a really pretty blue. If I don't mention who someone's wearing, if I can find out the information, I'm gonna put it on the screen as well. Ed Sharon is wearing Stella McCartney tuxedo. It's almost like a pearl-esque. It also has like a pearl essence, almost like a lot of the other outfits that I've been seeing. I don't know how I feel about the pants. It could just be the photo that I'm referencing. The, the, the waist pants area I just I don't know how I feel about it I do like the color I like the color I just I'm very iffy on that part it just doesn't seem either I don't know if it's like fitted oddly or just it's the photo that's giving it a weird angle I don't I don't know again not my favorite look another person wearing a really pretty blue is Rachel Ziegler wearing like this really cool sequin dress it's like a halter neck and a really cool train slash like shawl like a very elongated shawl it kind of gives me like a cloud with like waves of like sequin on the, the dress people also compared it to a very cinderella-esque and i can see that for sure Jaden and willow smith went together and they almost have like a matching look to them with the black and white and the black something about the oversized blazer as as the dress and the black black tights with the little pointed heels. I just, that is such a cool, I know it's a classic look. It's not really a classic look, but to me, I think it like looks very chic. I really like that. Like I could see that in an everyday thing, but it doesn't mention on who they're wearing. And it looks like Lilo's wearing like a headpiece, which kind of almost ties it all together and gives it like a unique feel to the whole outfit. I like Jaden's outfit. Unique. It's different. I just don't know how I feel about the, the shoes or I just don't know the, the story behind the shoes. Again, they're not really giving me much information because again, this is coming out as I'm reading it. It's actually it's still taking place as of right now. So they can only give out so much information all at once. I do like the Smiths looks. I don't know much about what they are wearing for the designer specifically so far, but not really standouts, but I do like them. I think they're, they're more up my, my style. Not my style, but like what I would gravitate towards. Another standout that I did notice was Lana Del Rey. I really like the vision, the look, it's a masterpiece. I like the little rose off to the side, I think either in the hand, but it was just the cloak, the veil. It's very like Roanoke giving me American Horror Story almost, but also very earthy, almost again, like coming from the ground up, coming out of the forest. I like it. I that's another unique standout. I really like what Lana is wearing. I definitely 
find that really interesting. It looks like Alana is wearing Alexander McQueen, a collection from Alexander McQueen, and I just find it really cool. It's very Sleeping Beauty, like forest-like as well, almost like just being covered in all the branches and the vines. I'm a big horror film fan, so it kind of reminds me of if you've seen Evil Dead, especially the remake. Not the remake remake, but the, well not the sequel, but the, the one that came out in like 2013, 14, 16 maybe, I don't know. It just reminds me of that, like being like covered in all the thorns and the vines. I think also there was a reference of that in The Ruins as well. I know they have nothing to do with the horror movies, but it just reminds me of that. It looks like they actually use twigs, like actual twigs, and put almost like a shimmery embossed glaze almost over the twigs. I really do like hers. That's Lana's is another standout. That's another in the books. Definitely gonna top a lot of the other people. It's not a competition, but it's just another one that would stand out in my mind for this year's Met Gala. Another look that I really liked was Emma Chamberlain's. It kind of has like that dark forest earthy tone to it. Emma Chamberlain's is a custom Jean-Paul Gaultier. I do really like it. Got that lace sheer floral draping. It's an earth brown tone, so that's kind of like different. You don't see that a lot. It's usually mostly black or white, so I do like that earthy brown tone. Tone. Gwendolyn Christie. I really like Gwendolyn Christie's look as well. It almost reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Gwendolyn is wearing Mason Margiela. It seems to be custom, so it just it just almost just was meant it literally meant for Gwendolyn. I like the hair. Doja's was different. I don't have a lot to say about Doja's look. It doesn't say the designer. It's like that wet look. Almost looks like a statue. The draping. Very interesting. Tiana Taylor's dress is really pretty too. It's giving me Miss Scarlet from Clue. I'm not gonna lie, I like Bad Bunny's outfit. I like Bad Bunny's look. It's custom. Again, it's giving garden vibes. We're gonna do rapid fire for the next handful of them. So I'm just gonna do this rapid fire really quickly, but I liked Nicki Minaj's. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite, but it's definitely up there. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of some that I would see in her albums. It, it just really brings me back to some of her albums and some of her looks with the very bright colors, so I really do like and it's very spring and very floral and it's kind of monochromatic with the yellow throughout the whole dress, the bag and the shoes. Nicki Minaj is wearing Marnie, so I do like it. I like the 3D effect. It really just brings it to life. Another one I did like was Penelope Cruz's. I wouldn't say it's a standout, but but I do like the lace and how it's almost like an ombre effect. It's off the shoulder. It's kind of got that like 20s wave to it in the hair. It's kind of a classic, looks like a classic look. I don't know, something dark about it that I just, it draws me in for whatever reason, even though it is very simplistic. Another one I did like was Kiki Palmer's. It literally looks like Kiki Palmer is like wrapped in like gold chains, especially from like, because I'm referencing in my laptop, but like from far away, it just looks like just chains, almost like gold chains wrapped around her. And I like the high ponytail and just like a very simplistic dark makeup with bedazzled like gems along the side of the face. It really just adds to the whole look. I like how it just wraps down the whole arm too. And it's a custom Marc Jacobs. So another one I did like was from Eddie Redmayne. Some of this that I am looking at, I'm referencing off of the Cosmopolitan website and I will link the article from Cosmopolitan that I am referencing as well down below. But at least for this article, it does not mention who Eddie Redmayne is wearing, but it does make it a little bit more of an elevated look to a suit. It almost goes out into like a dress or a long jacket or it's almost like a pea coat trench coat with like the sheer lace and not sure what Eddie Redmayne's look is from, but I do like it. It's very abstract in a sense. Continuing on to the next one, I really liked Elle Fanning's. Elle Fanning is wearing Belmont. I, I thought of it, it was like an ice sculpture. It's got the doves off to the, the sides of a open neckline off the shoulder, almost like a sweetheart neckline and is literally like fitted to her body and just goes all the way down and tapers to the end for the train. It's a very icy looking. I know it was supposed to be like an ice sculpture. I like the 
the clear shoes that she's wearing. You can barely see them unless you were really studying the photo. It's like Cinderella vibes for me as well. Another one I did like, which I know probably seems more basic, but I liked Allison Oliver's. It doesn't say, again, this is underneath Cosmopolitan's article for the version of the Met Gala this year, but it doesn't say what designer was for Allison Oliver's look. I kind of like the simplicity of the oversized and almost in like these like legging up the shoe. The shoes turn into these really tall boots or morphed into pants or the pant boots almost. I don't even know how you explain that one, but I like those and I like how the train or the cape has this really cool detailing with like lace and like silk floral fabrics and it's all like multicolored and you wouldn't even realize. Again, it's like all about the details and it's like the black sequin going down. I don't know how, again, I'm just, you know, side note, sidebar, I'm just gonna. I don't know how good this video is gonna be because again, for some reason, I also don't know what's going on with my outfit. There is so many people to go through. I'm not gonna be able to get through all of these people. I know Sydney Sweeney is in a contract with Miu Miu. I was not prepared to see her with a black shaggy hair. That That's a look, that's a new look. I've not seen her wear, I don't think. The gloves have like a wet look to it. It is giving that like foresty floral vibes and also kind of that Cinderella-esque as well, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I would say this definitely fits a lot better, it seems like, at least for the photo that I'm looking at, than some of the other looks that I've seen her wear by Miu Miu. Oh, well, it makes sense. This one's custom, so I guess, yeah. I like Barry Kogan's. It's more of like the playing it safe aspect, but it's kind of giving me the same vibe as Bad Bunny, even though they're completely two different looks. It has more of that earthy tone, almost like the Ember Chamberlain's look but with the top hat, it's giving like the Mad Hatter and Alice in Wonderland vibes. There's a lot of these outfits and a lot of these looks. I kind of like the high neckline on him too. I don't know, and like the pocket watch. I don't know, something about it, very whimsical. I really like this. Amelia Gray's is very interesting as well. It reminds me of Beauty and the Beast with the encapsulated rose underneath the glass combined with the yellow ball gown that Belle wears. It's almost like a mix between the two. The shape on her looks very, it contrasts her actual shape. I don't know, it's different. That's how I see it. Again, I have no idea what the backstory is, but it's by Undercover. Cara Delevingne's Stella McCartney's look, giving, um, to me, it's emulating a knight in the medieval times. I don't know, it's kind of different. It's simple, but yet something I haven't seen, at least for tonight. Aw, Pamela Anderson went. Pamela Anderson's wearing Oscar de la Renta. I kind of like the pale pink. Pink. It's pretty. It's a neutral, very simple gown, but it's really cute. I like the little feathers too that go up in the hair. I always like the way that like those that type of dress or gown drapes on the shoulder. I like how it crisscrosses up and down the waistline. There was so many. I'm just gonna do a really quick pop-up. This will be not really a talk through, but I'm just gonna put over here. This was a good look. This was also a good look. I really liked this look as well. I just there was a lot. I'm just gonna pile a ton on right here because there were so many to go through. I would be here for literally ever, but I really liked a lot of the looks. I didn't think I was expecting to see that many. If there, Again, if there's any extras that I did miss, I'm definitely going to put on the screen really quickly. Just some honorable mentions. I wanted to say that was a journey. I'm really happy I got to go through all of that, but I just wanted to do a really quick live reaction to the looks. It was really cool to go through this year's theme of the Met Gala. I just want to mention before, I know this was a pretty quick release, short brief rundown on only a select few of the people that I could reference and go through all their outfits, but I can't be here all day referencing every single person that walks the carpet. These were the, just the people that I could find and some of the people that did stand out to me. I really liked a lot of the looks. There wasn't a whole lot that I really didn't like. My opinion might be a lot more neutral compared to a lot of others because I'm not trying to be polarizing. I'm just trying to be honest, but yet self-aware that I might not know the vision behind something so I can't really hate on it and just seeing what was out there who could really stand out from the crowd of all the people that did show up and show out that was really cool to see everyone's take on the theme and I also just want to say thank you so much for watching this video I hope I see you in the next one bye